we're doing a topic at our school about people and work. We've made a wall chart showing three different kinds of working people. People who make things like car workers. People who help or serve us, like firemen. And people who grow things or dig them from the earth, like farmers. We've got two classes working on the topic. We've made a list of all our parents and the jobs they do. Simon's drawing a graph to show how many of them come under the different headings. People who serve us, nearly 30. People who make things, 40. People who grow things and dig them from the earth, 2. If you did a topic like this where you live, the results might be a bit different. We haven't all put our pictures up yet. Where do you think I should put this one, Karen? Joanne ought to know. Her dad drives a bus. Where do you think Joanne wants to put her picture? Thank you. No. Okay. No. I've been driving buses now for um, just over 19 years. and. What I like about the job really is the way that you, you get out, you meet people, you, you see different things on the road, you know, and uh, it's just really enjoyable sort of job like. The late nights, they don't bother me a great lot because uh, I've got them all day with the kids, like, you know, and uh, it don't start till four o'clock. And I think it's great to, to meet them all day with the children, like, you know. When it's summertime, it's great, you know, you've got the window, side window open and shirt sleeves and great, and everybody else likes driving in the nice weather, but when the snow's on the ground and the ice, you have to use a bit more care, and, of course, you get, you get the problems with windows steaming up. What I do like about the job is, is meeting so many people, so many different people, and helping, you know. Most working people can be put into one of these three groups. People who make things, people who help or serve us, and people who grow, dig or mine things. This is true here and in other countries like India. See if you can decide which group these jobs should be in. Making, helping, or growing.
Another part of our topic is to find out where people work in the area near our school. My mum works here. What does she do? They make rulers. I start at 4.30 and I finish at 8.30 in the evening. We're all allocated machines to work on, and uh, we start work. I look forward to going out to work, to meet my friends. Because they are my friends, because I see them outside the works as well. Of course, lots of things have to come into the factory before the rulers can be made. Electricity to drive the machines. People who work here and the plastic granules, tiny pieces of plastic from which the rulers are made. All these things are called inputs. Then the process of making the rulers begins. The plastic granules are put into this machine where they are heated and pressed together into the shape of the ruler. This part of the machine separates the rulers and cuts off any extra bits of plastic. These bits can be used again. The rulers themselves now have the numbers and markings printed on them. Stuart's mum then checks that they've been made properly and the process is complete. The finished rulers are called the outputs of the factory and these outputs are taken away for delivery to schools, offices and shops. All factories work in this way, whatever they're making. The things going into the factory are the inputs. The work which goes on inside the factory, the making of things, is the process. And the things which are made there are the outputs. The next place we visited was a bakery and we saw lots of inputs, processes and outputs. We had to work out which they were.
Doing this topic about works got me thinking about my dad. He hasn't got a job. The sort of job that I should like is back in a factory where we do engineering, preferably in the maintenance department, so that I can get back to mending the machines. During the week, I go to the job centre at least twice, but so far I haven't been lucky enough to find a job. At the moment, while I've been unemployed, one of the hardest things to do is to keep myself fit and active throughout the day. While I've been staying at home, I've been able to go down to the school and fetch the children back on a night. Also, I've taken part in several activities at the school to assist the school in outings that they've done through the Parent Teachers Association. Oh, dear. Just in time, she has some nice bread which Joanne's been making at school today. Joanne's only did school of it, that's yes. nice, isn't it? Yes, eh? they've had a project day today. People at work, and I think she's been talking about you. Talking about me at work? Yes. <laughs> she puts you under people who help and serve us. I wonder where she put me. And I wonder what Darren did about his dad. <laughs> 